Welcome back. Kings and Tulare counties will both have a high-speed rail, and so will the cities of Bakersfield and Palmdale. In between those stops, feelings about the bullet train, though, are mixed. And in two fly-through Kern County cities, at least, there's some grumbling about it. 17's Robert Price explains. If you've been through Shafter or Wasco, you have seen signs that high-speed rail really is coming to Kern County. That doesn't necessarily mean everybody's excited about it. Despite a succession of ongoing legal, logistical, and financial challenges, California's high-speed rail project has stayed on track, and the physical proof of its slow but steady progress is more evident in Kern County every day. The most recent change to the local landscape is in Wasco, where the city's train station was demolished last week to make way for the bullet train. For many, that was bad enough, but Wasco officials have other complaints. One is that the town of 25,000 will be losing its Amtrak stop when high-speed rail begins service through the Southern Valley. The other is that the $10 million cost of demolishing a complex of old abandoned farm labor housing that runs east of the tracks has fallen to the city. Here's city manager Daniel Ortiz Hernandez. I believe there was just a sense among many in the community that um, the, the authority was going to do right by them. We were frequently told that any adverse impact the authority um, creates on the community, they have an obligation to mitigate. And, and as things have played out um, and come to fruition, that certainly hasn't been the case. Wasco isn't the only Kern County city raising concerns. Another is Tehachapi, where officials here held a press conference Monday describing multiple failures by the high-speed rail authority to address concerns raised by the city a year ago, chief among them noise mitigation. Here's Tehachapi Development Services Director Jay Slosser. We feel like this is a pretty urgent issue for us and that they need to pay a little bit more attention to the small towns in between the railroad stations where they're just coming through these small towns and impacting them. So the signs are unmistakable. High-speed rail is coming to Kern County. Whether or not that leaves Kern County's smaller cities better or worse than before remains to be seen. In Wasco, Robert Price, 17 News.